ഹലോ ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് ഐ ആം വിജയൻ വലിയപുരിയിൽ ഓൾ ആർ വെൽക്കം ടു മൈ യൂട്യൂബ് ചാനൽ ഇൻ ദി ലാസ്റ്റ് വീഡിയോ വി ലെഫ്റ്റ് അവർ ട്രെയിൻ ഇൻ ദി മിഡ് സെക്ഷൻ വെയ്റ്റിംഗ് ഫോർ ദ ലോക്കോ ടു കം ഫ്രം സ്റ്റേഷൻ എക്സ് ടു ഹെൽപ്പ് ഇറ്റ് ടു ഓവർകം ദി വൺ ഇൻ ടു സിക്സ്റ്റി അപ്ഗ്രേഡിയൻറ്റ് ടിൽ ദിസ് എൻജിൻ കംസ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ദ റെസ്പോൺസിബിലിറ്റി ഓഫ് ദി ജി എൽ പി ടു പ്രൊട്ടക്റ്റ് ദ ട്രെയിൻ ദ പ്രൊട്ടക്ഷൻ ഓഫ് ദ ട്രെയിൻ മീൻസ് it must not roll away or it must not move away by its own when it is at the section also it must be ensured that no other train or engine comes and collide with this train now stopped at the mid section in this video we will see how a passenger carrying train is protected in the mid section and also we will see how a goods train is protected in the mid section and also suppose there is no additional engine available in the stations nearby how a goods train will be moved to the next station by parting the train will be parted to have two sections and first section will be taken to the station thereafter the engine will come back and take the next portion so these things we will see in this video okay now let us go to the diagram and have a clear idea about all these things now our train which started at 1 in 260 gradient is now backed to a plain area and it is waiting here for an engine to come from station w to give it a support to overcome this 1 in 260 gradient and to proceed to station x by the time this train now stopped in the mid section is to be protected how this train will be protected see first let us see what the crew will do when the train stopped first they will apply the formation brake by applying formation brake the brakes of all coaches will be applied thereafter they will apply the loco brake also if the detention is going to be more than 15 minutes the loco brake will also be applied irrespective of the gradient whether it is in 1 2 1 in 260 or in the plane this loco brake will be applied if the detention is going to be more than 15 minutes now the alp will go out with the detonators he will place one detonator at 600 meters and three detonators 10 meters apart at 1200 meters away from this engine and thereafter the alp will stand 45 meters away from this that letter showing red hand signal towards this direction the red hand signal means at night it will be red light or in day it will be red flag so this is how the alp or the crew is protecting the train in front now in the rear what will happen here it is brake one the guard will apply the hand brake of the brake one in the brake one entrance there will be side light and that side light he will turn red light towards the loco pilot that is during night if it is day he will put a red flag on the bracket of this side light guard one will be having normally wedges or skids or sprags any of this will be available in the guard one he will put this wedges or skids or sprags whatever available at the rearmost wheels of the last two coaches he will place one detonator at 600 meters and three detonators at 1200 meters from this guard van at 10 meters apart thereafter he will stand here 45 meters away from this detonator showing the dance signal as uh, done by the alp now they will be waiting for the engine to come now let us go to the station w what happens to the engine an engine has to come from here engine has come from station v to station w and now it has to proceed to here block section is occupied or obstructed now the station master w cannot ask line clear from station x because the block section is occupied for asking line clear or for granting line clear whatever it be the block section should be clear not only up to the home signal but also for an adequate distance beyond it that is 
180 meters, not less than 180 meters. So here this train is occupying the section. So there is no question of grinding lying here and also seeking lying here. Now the engine can be sent only with the authority to proceed without a lying gear. That authority is called T bar A602. So that authority to proceed without a lying gear for the local pilot is T bar A602. T bar A602 will have the permission for this local pilot to proceed to this section. Here it is the advanced starter that will be in the on position. For passing the stop signal at on, we normally use T bar 369 3B. This T bar A602 will have that portion also. That is, it will be having the permission to pass the advanced starter at on, LSS at on. So, it is a permission to enter the block section and also it is a permission to pass the advanced starter at on and also it will be having the caution that is the engine should proceed only at a 10 k 15 kmh or 10 kmh that is 15 kmh if it is day and clear weather and 10 kmh if it is night so that will also be specified in that t bar a 602 so that will also act as a caution order and also other cautions in the section that is beyond this also there can be normal cautions so those caution orders will also be available in this t bar a 602 t bar a 602 is prepared in triplicate but here we are not having guard so it is enough to prepare in duplicate the other foil will be just cancelled this filled up t bar a 602 will have all these things which I have just told you that is it is a permission to enter the block section and also it is a permission to pass the advanced starter at on and also it will be having the speed restriction of 15 or 10 kbh by which the engine should proceed and further this will be having all other cautions between this section that is between station W and X what are all the cautions available in the section that will also be listed in that T bar A602. So this oh. will be given to the local pilot. If starter is free starter, it can be taken off and it ensures that this point, these two points are set favorably and also locked. Suppose it is not free starter, there will be calling on signal below this starter and those calling on signal can be taken off for dispatching this engine. Suppose calling on signal is also not there, in that case these two points are to be set, clamped and padlocked for dispatching this engine. In that case T bar 369 3B is also to be given to pass the starter signal at on and also PHS should be shown at the foot of the starter. In this T bar A602 it will be clearly stated where this stalled train is standing. The clear location will be given in this T bar A602. The train is proceeding towards this section. First, uh, he will meet the guard here. Guard will be showing the hand danger signal. The loco will come and stop there. Immediately, the guard will remove three detonators and uh, he will allow this loco to pass that area. After passing that loco, immediately he will put back these three detonators at 10 meters apart on the same location. Then this engine will proceed and he will come to this location where there is one detonator. Here the guard will take this one detonator and he will allow this engine to proceed. This one detonator he will keep it with himself, he will not put back it here. Now the engine will come here, thereafter the guard has to give hand signal to attach this loco with the rear end of this train. By the time guard will inform the loco pilot that the engine has come and it is going to be attached. All this information will be given to the loco pilot. By the time the loco pilot will call back this ALP here. The, the loco pilot here will give a long whistle and uh, on hearing that long whistle the ALP will come back to the engine. Now while coming back, he will uh, he will not take back these three 
detonators he will leave these three detonators here and he will take back this one detonator and come to the engine after attaching this engine the continuity will be tested and also the guard will place the LV board or tail lamp at the back of this engine that guard will take back the uh, skids or sprags or wedges which had been placed below these wheels he will take back all these and also release the handbrake of the brake van now the train is ready it is moving forward here there is no detonator but here there are three detonators and it will explode these three detonators and move to station X. Now what will happen here? Here three detonators are left behind by the guard. One detonator he had already taken away. So what will happen to these three detonators? This train reaching the station, another train comes. That train will explode these three detonators. Then immediately local pilot will slow his train and after traveling for another 1.5 kilometer that is after exploding these three detonators he will travel for 1.5 kilometer in a cautious speed and after that he will pick up speed and go we have seen now how a passenger carrying train stalled in the block section especially at a gradient of 1 in 260 how this train is protected and also how it is allowed to proceed to station X. Suppose it is a good train. What are the steps to be taken by the GLP to protect the train and how the train will be taken to station X? That is what we are going to see now. It's a good train having what is called here engine and 38 vehicles that is wagons plus BV. This is the composition of this goods train and this train has started at 1 in 260 gradient. When the loco pilot finds that he cannot move further, he will give four short whistles and also he will show hand danger signal up and down towards the guard. The guard on hearing this whistle and seeing this uh, red flag shot by this loco pilot, it will be acknowledged by the guard. If the loco pilot wants the guard to come to the engine, the loco pilot will give too long, too short whistle. That is engine whistle. What whistle we are saying is engine whistle. It will give, the loco pilot will give too long too short whistle that means the guard is to come to the engine now the guard will get down and proceed towards the engine on the left side of the train in the same way here the assistant loco pilot or loco pilot will get down and go towards the or move towards the guard from the on the left side of the train now they will meet together and they will decide what to do they will Contact the controller. The controller may say that a loco can be arranged from station W or station X. That is one option. And there is another option in the case of goods train. That is, this train can be divided and a portion of the train can be taken to station X first. Then the engine will come back and take the next portion. This is applicable only in the case of goods trains. Passenger trains cannot be divided or parted like this. So this kind of parting is called intentional parting. That is uh, for the purpose of taking a portion, the train is parted intentionally by the GLP. Let us consider the controller has assured that a loco will be arranged from station W or station X. So now they have to protect the train till this loco arrives. In this gradient, it is not safe to be there. There is a chance of this getting rolled down. So the train will be, this goods train will be backed to a lesser gradient place. Suppose there is a plain area, it will be backed to the plain area or a lesser gradient. Suppose there is 1 in 400 gradient here, then they will back it to that area. After backing to that area, the train is to be protected. First, the loco pilot will apply the 
formation brake. By applying formation brake, the brake of all these wagons will be applied. So if the detention is going to be for more than 15 minutes, the loco pilot will apply the loco brake also. Thereafter, ALP will get down and apply handbrake of 10 wagons next to the engine. This is the handbrake of the goods train wagons and these handbrakes will be applied for 10 wagons next to engine by the ALP. Then thereafter this ALP will move away from this engine at 600 meters he will place one detonator and another 600 meters he will place three detonators 10 meters apart and he will stand 45 meters away from that detonator to show hand danger signal towards the direction of the station X. Now, on the part of guard, what he will do? Here, I normally at the end, there is a brake van. Now, the guard will apply handbrake of the brake van plus five wagons next to the brake van. Here also, the guard will apply the wedges, skids or sprags, whatever available in the brake van at the wheels of the rearmost wagons. Thereafter, the guard will move 600 meters away and place one detonator and another 600 meters he will place three detonators 10 meters apart and will stand 45 meters away showing hand danger signal towards any engine or any vehicle coming from this direction. So this is how the good strain will be protected in the a mid section when the engine comes from station W or from the station X it will be attached to this train and it will be moved similarly as in the case of passenger carrying train which we have already seen now let us see the other option that is parting of this goods train suppose the controller says there is no engine nearby you can part this train and bring the first portion to station X and thereafter next portion. Or if the GLP cannot contact the controller, they themselves can decide that this train can be parted and front portion can be taken to station X. In that case, how this will be done? This train is having 38 wagons. Suppose they have decided to part this train and uh, decided to take engine and 20 wagons to the station X first. In that case, the remaining 18 wagons, suppose the train is standing at a gradient steeper than 1 in 400. In that case, the last 18 wagons and breaks off, all the 18 wagons will be applied plus the BV. If the gradient is 1 in 400 or lesser or flatter, in that case, 12 wagons next to brake one should be hand braked. Thereafter, the guard will place wedges, skids or sprags, whatever he is having in the brake van at the last two vehicles, at the wheels of the last two vehicles. Then the guard will place one detonator at 600 meters from the brake van and three detonators at the another 600 meters, 10 meters apart. Now the rear portion is protected. That is the engine and the 20 wagons can move towards station X. They will disconnect the coupling between the 18th and the 20th wagon and also they will disconnect the brake pipe. The authority given to the loco pilot now to move with these 20 wagons is T bar 609. This T bar 609 memo is with the guard and he will prepare this T bar 609 and hand over the original to the loco pilot after getting his signature in the duplicate. This T bar 609 prepared by the guard will have the details like how many wagons it is going to be taken to the station X, how many wagons are left behind in the block section and its location. All these details will be there in the T bar. 609. Now these 20 wagons which are going to be moved to station X, they will not be having any tail lamp or LV board at the back because LV board or tail lamp will be placed when it is a complete train. Now it is not a complete train, a portion is left behind here, so it will not be having tail lamp or LV board. So this will move towards station X and while moving towards station X, 
the loco pilot will warn the gatekeepers in between this section that we are coming with only a portion of the train and uh, I will come back with the loco to pick up the rest of the train and at that time there will not be any signals see this is a wrong direction movement that is normally train will move only in the up direction the engine will be coming back in the wrong direction so there will not be any signal for the LC gate now on reaching here at the foot of the home signal normally the loco pilot will call the station master through SPT signal post telephone and inform that he is coming with only a portion of the train because the station master has to arrange this reception of this train accordingly because the, after receiving this first portion he has to receive the second portion so there must be some arrangements at the station so that other trains will not be hit other delay to other trains which are going to come from station W thereafter should not be affected train can be received by clearing the home signal to road 3 or road 2 the train after passing the home signal he will stop at the outermost facing point here it is the outermost facing point and he will give engine whistle one long one short one long one short that is to inform the station master that he is coming with a parted train and he should not clear the block section because a part of the train is in the block section so this one long one short one long one short whistle will be acknowledged by the station master by waving red hand signal above his head four times on seeing that the local pilot will move in uh, either on road 3 or road 2 for which uh, this signal has been taken off after reaching the station the local pilot will hand over this T bar 609 to the station master station master will prepare the stub portion of this T bar 609 and that will be handed over to the loco pilot that is the authority for the loco pilot to enter the block section to take back the balance portion now while moving towards this direction sms to ensure that the points on which the train is going to move are properly set the clamped and padlocked because there is no signals governing this movement now this engine will come to this section at a speed of 15 bar 10 kmbh the speed of this engine will be 15 bar 10 that is 15 during daytime clear weather and 10 during night so at that speed that engine will come and on seeing the guard signal this will come this engine will come and they will couple this rest of this portion and they will take this portion to the station after the arrival of the balance portion to the station the guard will give a block clearance certificate to the station master that the block section is now clear of trains that certificate will be given to the station master by the guard that is how the parting intentional parting is managed by the GLP and the station then there is the accidental parting accidental parting in accidental parting what happens is because of some coupling problem of this CBC coupling normally the goods trains will be having CBC coupling central buffer coupling this is the central buffer coupling when this coupling is broken or got detached because of some jerk while applying the sudden brake there is a chance of this coupling getting detached so in that case the front portion will move on back portion will also move on only for a short distance it will move because nowadays we are having the trains with the air brake system there is a very little chance for the portions both portions moving uh, forward because there will be sudden drop of pressure the rear portion will come to a sudden stop and the front portion will also come to a stop the loco pilot will feel sudden drop of pressure and so on turning back he can see the trees parted in that case if the rear portion is moving on in that case the front portion should not be stopped if he is stopped then there will be collision these two portions will collide each other so normally will not happen anyhow he look back and see that the rear portion has stopped 
then only he should stop. When the two parts have come to a stop, GLP can decide whether they can couple together and move as a single train to station X. In case the first portion has traveled a long distance and it is near to the station, this portion can go to the station X and the engine can return to take this portion on T bar A602. If after parting the two portions are near but it is unable to couple because of uh, something wrong with uh, CBC coupling, it is not possible to couple the two portions. Well, the first portion can leave towards station X on T bar 609. This is how the accidental parting of the goods train is managed. Now we have seen how the trains are protected in the midsection and also how the trains are moved to the next station with or without uh, the help of additional loco. Now our train is moving towards station X and we will follow the train in our next video. In this video there are two points which are not clarified by me in this discussion and I will put forward those two points before you to get clarification from yourself. One point which I haven't clarified is when the GLP has decided to part the train the guard is going to the rear portion rear side of this train to place one detonator at uh, 600 meters and three detonators at uh, 1200 meters now he is coming back to the train to issue T bar 609 to the loco pilot while coming back should he take the one detonator at the 600 meters that is the one point the other point is when the loco pilot has taken the front portion to the next station the balance portion is there in the midsection should this balance portion to be protected in front with the detonators that is one detonator at 600 meters and three detonators at another 600 meters by this guard should the guard protect this train with the detonators these are the two points kindly go through the rule books or consult your instructors or higher ups and get your clarification and put it in the comment box of this video we will discuss it in the next video okay we will meet in our next video